I was a full-time college student studying and attending classes for more than 50 hours a week, yet I was still able to generate some extra cash like this every month. Keep watching to learn how I did it. You may be one of the 80% of college students that work part-time while they study, but have you ever thought about side hustles for college students that can earn you a little extra cash working from home or even in class? Thanks to the internet, it's super easy to find freelance or gig economy work. If you have a skill or knack for something on this list, there's probably someone willing to pay you for it. And in this video, I'm going to be going over four great side hustles for college students that can help you earn money from home today. Some won't be immediately profitable, but I'll try to give you tips on how to get the cash rolling in fast. And by the way, if you're looking to get more tips and ways to be more financially stable, make more money, and save more money, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I plan on releasing a couple of videos like this every week. Now with that being said, let's get started with the video. Way number one, start freelance writing. You're a college student, so there's probably something you can write, whether it's blogs, Instagram posts, LinkedIn bios, proofreading, audio transcribing, sales pitches. There are thousands of paid writing jobs advertised online every day. It's not easy work by any means, but you'll be able to work when you want to. The requirements for a writing side hustle include a way with words, a computer and internet, and an online portfolio. If you're not a pro freelance writer, start with a website like Upwork or Fiverr, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can use these websites to land your first few gigs and once you've gotten started, you can then find your own clients and eliminate Upwork or Fiverr as the middleman. The time to start earning money with this side hustle is about one month and you may have to start with low paying or free jobs to build a portfolio. But after you prove your chops, you can start charging higher rates. I've personally written articles for hirers in the past where they charge anywhere from $3 to $10 per 100 words, which is usually the starting for a freelance writer. The only reason why I stopped was because writing wasn't exactly my forte. Now way number two is to write code for cash. If your degree is in computer science, then freelance coding is a great side hustle while you're in college student. There's more work for good developers than there are good developers, so there's a strong earning potential. The requirements for a coding side hustle include coding skills, a computer and internet, and an online portfolio. If this is a side hustle you like the sound of, but you can't code, then get busy learning. Start by learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or the basics of WordPress. You can learn through online platforms like Udemy or Coursera. Once you build a few websites, you should be able to get some work going and maintaining websites for other people. Then you can learn other online languages like Python or Go. The time to start earning money with this side hustle is usually about 6 months or less depending if you have the skills for coding or not. Unlike writing, learning the skill is hard in the beginning but gets easier exponentially. I haven't personally tried coding myself as a side hustle, but I have created websites in the past for clients on WordPress who would pay anywhere from $700 to $2,000 for a 4-5 to five page foundation website. Way number 3 is to put your car on Toro. If you own a car but don't need to drive it, why not, someone, why not let someone else? Renting a car on Toro is an awesome side hustle for a college student and takes hardly any effort. Toro is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing network where car owners rent their cars out to other drivers. If you don't need your car during the semester, it's a way to make money from something that's just sitting in your driveway. The requirements to rent your car as a side hustle include your own car that isn't being used and an account with Toro or another car share operator. Old and new cars have a place on Toro. Toro says that with a $20,000 market value car rented for 15 days a month, you could potentially make around $6,500 a year. The time to start making money with this side hustle is fairly quick. It takes around 10 minutes to list your car on Toro, but how fast you earn will depend on when you start to get bookings for your car. Now way number 4 is to rent out a room on Airbnb. If you have space at your home, why not have someone pay for it and stay in it? And it's a perfect side hustle for a college student who wants to make some sort of passive income. Even if your place isn't perfect, its proximity to your college is an attractive feature. You'll probably find lots of other students looking for short-term accommodation during the semester. The requirements to use Airbnb as a side hustle include a room, 
bed, flat, or house that's not being used, even if you don't have extra space in your place, you might be able to sublet it if you go back home for the holidays. The time to start earning with this side hustle is fairly quick also. Listing a home on Airbnb typically takes less than 30 minutes. You'll start earning money as soon as someone books your place. So guys, whatever online jobs or side hustles you do at college, here are some things to consider when you decide to work part-time from home while studying. Not all of these have to be done right away, but you should keep them in mind. Number one, make fast internet a priority. Number two, treat your side hustle like a business. If you earn good money, you'll need to pay tax. Look into the rules around running your own small business in your state and get an accountant. Number three, take chances. Don't be worried about the risks of working for yourself. Make the leap now and figure it out as you go. If you don't sink a ton of money into it, the risk is pretty low. Whether you make a career out of working at home or leave it as a temporary hobby, you'll learn a lot. You'll learn about working for yourself, staying motivated, and what it takes to run a small business. These are all super important skills that you'll be able to apply to in lots of areas of your upcoming adult life. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel below. I hope this video helps bring you a little extra cash. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.